welcome to this week's video. I'm Melissa Nielsen. This week's video is going to just kind of be, um, it's not a brag session, but I had a couple of people ask me some questions about, about seasons of seven, which is our virtual school model. How did it come about? What, what, you know, what are we doing with that? Where did it come from? And who's helping me? All of those things. So if you're not at all interested in that and in our journey with that, then you might not want to listen to this one. But if you want to know some very amazing things, then go ahead and listen. So we, I'm just going to back you up um, last before all the crazy happened, um, we had already decided that we were, we didn't decide we were leaving San Diego at the time, but we did decide we were going to, we wanted a new housing situation. We loved our condo by the beach, but it just, even though our family was shrinking as children were leaving home, we really wanted more space, um, more office space. Our, you know, our team is growing. And even though it's just Eric and I in the office in our physical location, it just was not feeling great where we were. So we decided we were going to put all of our things in storage and travel. And we decided that like in January and we started sort of putting things together and then all the crazy happened, um, the latter part of March and we came together and, and you should know, if you don't know this about us already, Eric and I spend a lot of time in meditation every day. Prayer and meditation are sort of how we uh, run our lives. It's, um, very important to us. And we'd been spending, we'd been spending, gosh, like the last 18 months really working to manifest a space that we wanted and really dreaming about that space. Um, you know, talking to God about how do we get to that space? What do we do next? Where, what positions do we need to be in? How, you know, how should we make changes in our business? Those sorts of things. Had no idea <laughs> what I was in for. Sort of was laughing um, if you had told it, like if, if, if I could go back and tell 2019 me anything, I would say, buckle up, it's going to be bumpy, <laughs> but I really like, we really had no idea. So even when the crazy started, we just came together and we were like, what do we do? So we, you know, we went into meditation together and, um, we, you know, each sought answers and we came back with the same answer. And that was that we needed to walk forward. So we began the process, um, in April, um, of just putting all of our things in storage. And in May we left San Diego. We were not sure where we were going. We just had, you know, everybody had like four changes of clothes. And at the time we had a tiny little Toyota Yaris, which is like tiny, tiny car, but it was so great. Um, and we had it packed full. It was just the four of us, Eric and I, and our two youngest. We had left Harry, our oldest son in San Diego. And we sort of were the scouts for our whole family because we weren't sure where we were going to land and he wanted to eventually come with us. So, um, we sort of just left and went, we, we came to Arizona and we weren't sure that this was where we were going to be. We spent some days in a hotel um, spent a lot of time just sort of thinking about things. And in the midst of that, um, my good friend, uh, Melanie Novakovich, who's one of our coaches with um, Waldorf Essentials, I've known her for a few years now. Um, she, she called me and she said, I, I have this weird idea. I said, what's this weird idea? She said, well, I have these friends that really want me to teach third grade. And I said, oh, well, that's not a weird idea. That sounds great. She said, they're, they're wanting to leave their charter school and they really want another option. What do you think? And, and I, I said, well, you know, that sounds great. And I said, you know, it's really too bad that there's not an option like that. And in that, in that meantime, like as we were traveling and she and I were having this conversation, I was getting a lot of emails, emails from teachers all over the world. Um, you know, in the United States and in the Northern Hemisphere, we were, we were almost finished with our school year. You know, it was March and we just had a couple more months to go, but the Southern Hemisphere had just barely started their school year. So when the lockdowns all began, I was getting emails from families, emails from, um, Waldorf teachers, um, trying to sort out like, what should we do? What, you know, do we help our families homeschool? Do we, you know, wh what do we do? What, what thoughts and plans do you have? And, and quite frankly, some pretty panicked messages too from teachers who had already been furloughed. And, and I thought, what can we do to help this situation? 
So Melanie and I put our heads together and then we grabbed Nicole, our assistant, who I just love her to pieces. She totally keeps me sane. So if you see Nicole uh, <laughs> on things, so she's going to be more and more, um, more and more uh, on the front um, spot of our business just because she's doing so much for us and she's super helpful as we're growing our team. But we grabbed her and the three of us put our heads together and we started talking to um, Waldorf teachers that we had known for years. Um, we started talking to people like Jamie York and, um, you know, we talked to uh, David McCann over at Sparkle Stories and I talked to um, some other f Waldorf teacher friends that I had had for years and, and really sort of started exploring this idea of like, what could be done? And I really started to look at um, Jamie York's model for Jamie York Math Academy and, and whether or not that could be done on a bigger scale. So we looked at what that would look like because it would look different. Like Math Academy is one thing, but what having all the main lessons and everything for all the grades would look quite different. So we started putting our heads together, um, the other directors and I, Melanie and Nicole, and we came up with um, the model that we have now. So Seasons of Seven is a Waldorf-inspired virtual school, which I know sounds crazy, right? Because Waldorf and technology do not go together. And we have gotten um, some lovely hate mail from people that just can't think outside the box. We've also gotten some amazing love letters from people who are like, oh my gosh, where has this been my whole life? Because it's not just about what's going on in the world right now. It's, it's something bigger. So, you know, when people say, are you guys just around for COVID? No, we're not. We're actually, um, it may have been, you know, we may have been thrust into this because of that. But what's funny, and I have to tell you, because I bullet journal, so I keep a lot of my journals and I went back through some journals. I was, I was looking for something that my son asked me to look for and I was looking back through my notes and I had found in 2018, 19, early 19, I had written up a plan. And then I forgot about it. I had written up a plan. I had even written down teachers that I wanted, things that I wanted to accomplish. And I even wrote down the name. Seasons of Seven was called something else at first. We sort of played around with the name and we were really not liking the name that we, we came up with. And so, in fact, what's funny is I don't even remember it right now. <laughs> But for about two weeks, we were something else. And um, then we were just really playing with like, what what do we want it to feel like? And I, like I said, I've been going through my notes and, and my son wanted, you know, it was something, it was a note I was looking for and it was not that. And I came across this page in my bullet journal. And it's so funny because it laid out teachers and it laid out a name and it laid out the concept. And... I, I, I remember when I found it, I got on Zoom with Melanie and Nicole and I was like, oh my gosh, you guys are never going to guess what I found. And it's funny because it was almost exactly what I had written out and what I had cast out to the universe, to God, whatever noun you want to put on that, that this is something that I felt like needed to happen and that I wanted to see happen, um, you know, on a grand scale. So we started, um, in, in that time, I decided I better settle down in, in Arizona, <laughs> even though we had plans to keep going. Um, so we, we found a house and um, it's a rental, but it's a beautiful rental and we're super happy where we are. Um, super happy, it's like a fortress. I keep calling it my fortress, this nice big house. And, um, and our son came from San Diego to be with us. And, um, you know, he has a job and he's, he's uh, he'll be moving on when it's time, when the time is right. But right now he's here and he's probably going to start doing some work for us too. Um, in with his other jobs that he's got. But it's funny, so we started, and you know, the summer didn't get any better. <laughs> I think back about everything that was going on in June of 2020 and it just started or continued to be um, really chaotic for people. And we really wanted a space to, um, we really wanted a space to have <sighs> continuity for families. And that's what Seasons of Seven was born from. We we came to a place where we just, we laid out what we wanted and then we just started looking for teachers. And I have to tell you, I've been so, so impressed with the teachers that have come to us. We have um, a full staff and we have early childhood through eighth grade. 
we have a few ninth grade blocks. We have a Eurythmy teacher. We have a, um, a French teacher. We have music. I am blessed beyond measure to be leading this group of people. They are amazing people. So I just want to say, if you've not had an opportunity to check it out and um, you want some help in your homeschooling or you just want to see what's there, check us out. Um, we also, oh, I forgot. We also have an amazing handwork teacher. Oh my goodness. We have so many awesome teachers. I, again, so blessed, so blessed. I know I've probably forgotten somebody. I know I probably have. Oh my goodness. I hope not. I'm thinking about all of them. I think about all of them. We have great teachers. Oh, ASL. We're teaching ASL over there too. Yes, so many great teachers. And they really have the Waldorf spirit. And they they are on the space of really wanting to bring this education to children. And what we found was that we found families that aren't just in it for this. We, we plan to be here. We aren't going anywhere. Well, the catalyst was COVID. What, what the bigger catalyst is a Steiner and what we want to bring to the world. So check us out, seasons07.com. Drop us a note if you've got any questions. Thanks for joining me.